Welcome to Ridley Works. It's the world's most powerful power supply designer, simulator, analyzer, with features that you won't find anything else anywhere else. We've taken all our knowledge from decades of designing power converters and put it all in one place, convenient place, for you to design and analyze much quicker to move from specification to your first prototype faster than ever before. Features of uh, Ridley Works include a power stage designer, a control loop designer, an instantaneous detailed simulator, a magnetics designer, and a seamless link to LT Spice. And we've recently introduced Ridley IQ, which is a high power, high level designer for doing things like magnetics and control loop design that makes your life so much more easy. So let's begin with the design. Today I'm going to show you just two things. I'm going to show you the topologies we have available, how quickly it can design your power stage, and the capabilities of the built-in simulator of ReadyWorks. So let's start design. Click on specifications to start your design. You will notice as you go through ReadyWorks that it will actually talk to you. It will give you advice on what to do next, what part of the converter is to be done, and help you with your navigation through the system. So the first thing I want to show you, right here you can see there's a topology already up on the screen which is a classic flyback converter. And the specifications for this are 36 to 60 volts input, 12 volts, 5 amps output. And anytime you're looking at a converter, you'll be able to see waveforms of the converter. For example, this shows us the switch current. And here you can see many, many cycles of switch current. And there's too many to see clearly on the screen. So we have a time base adjuster, just like your oscilloscope. So if you turn down the time base, you see more cycles. So here they're crammed in so tight that you can barely plot them on the screen. That looks like your scope when you've got it set on too long a time base. Now we can zoom in on the waveforms and then you can see the individual switch cycles of the converter. But before we go into the simulator anymore, let's look at the different topologies we have available to us for doing design. So you click on topology. And on the right of the screen here, you'll see the categories. There's the non-isolated converters, forward converters, flyback, half bridge, full bridge, push pull, half bridge LLC, and full bridge LLC. And just to give you an idea of how many converters exist within these categories, we can click on all topologies and now we see a thumbnail of every single topology that's inside RidleyWorks. So there's uh, close to 40 different topologies at this point. And every one of these can be controlled with voltage mode or current mode control. You have full flexibility over the control parameters and you have full design capability for the magnetics for all of these converters. So we're doing a tremendous amount of work for you to help you in your design process. Now let's look again. Let's try a different topology. Let's go with the non-isolated. And we'll start with the simplest converter of all, which is, of course, the buck converter. So you click on the buck converter. It will tell you what's going on. Designing new topology with Ridley IQ. Simulating to steady state. Design and simulation complete. So in that time frame, it designed all the power stage values of the buck converter. It ran a simulation from startup into steady state, and then closed the loop on the converter. And you can look at the waveforms of the converter immediately. So it's presented to you. So this is an extremely fast design process. Again, capturing decades of design experience from many well-informed industrial engineers. And of course, we incorporate work from uh, papers and theory as well. But we're very much about the practical aspects of converter design. So the first thing to look at on this buck converter will be the switch current. So you click on this probe icon right here. And we can see our switch current coming in. Looks like there's a little bit of a perturbation still going on here. So if you just hit continue, it gets the converter into steady state. And you can see how fast it does that. 
you know, this is not using LT Spice. This is not using any other type of simulator external to Ridley Works. We've built the simulator in so that you can change parameter values and immediately see the results on the simulation, just like you would in the lab. If you change a converter value in the lab, you can immediately see the effect on the scope. And that's the way we like to work. We've made it very easy for you to change values. For example, if you change the inductor of the buck converter, right now it's at 19 microhenries, you can increase that if you want to. So just nudge the value up here. And you can see when you do that, immediately the ripple current changes on the switch. All right. So you can change the value as you wish on this inductor, and then you can see the effect of that on the waveforms. Now we'll go ahead and reset that back to where it was, and hit continue to get it into steady state. And there's our converter operating at the default operation. Now let's look at the output voltage of the converter. So here is the output voltage. Now let's look at this on a much longer time scale because we want to put some transients on the converter. So here's a buck converter operating and there's 800 cycles going on right here. Let's put a step load on this. Let's suppose we want to step it from 100% down to 80% step load and click OK. And now you can see the transient on the output voltage of this converter. And you can see it's overshooting uh, you know, almost two tenths of a volt here, which, well, perhaps that's too much for your design. So this is an optimized control loop for the converter. And this is part of the equation for how we're going to choose the capacitor value. We have to do it through large signal simulation here, not through just calculations of what the cap should be. So suppose, suppose we want to reduce that overshoot voltage. We want to get it down to maybe 12.1 volts overshoot. So all you need to do for that is just to increase the output capacitor. So here we can see it dropping each time that capacitor value increases in value. And now we can see that when we're up to 116 microfarads on the output, then we've got our overshoot down to about 100 millivolts on the step load. So this is the power of Ridley Works. You can really choose these values, like the, the capacitor value and the inductor value, and you see the real world effect. Now every time I'm clicking to change that capacitor, it's changing the control loop at the same time to make sure that we have an optimized control system for the converter. We can change the input voltage from 36 volts input up to 60 volts input. And you don't see much happening there because the converter is busy regulating itself. And right now it's actually using current mode control. So the perturbation from input to output is almost negligible in this case. So that gives you an idea of the simulation waveforms of the converter. And we'll do just one more thing to show you how fast it is and to show that it's really going live. We'll change to a flyback converter here. Click on Designing the flyback. Topology with Ridley IQ. Simulating to steady state. Design and simulation complete. So it's already finished designing the entire flyback, but the same set of specifications. Uh, the sharp-eyed amongst you may notice that the frequency dropped down when it went from a buck to a flyback. The program knows it's more challenging, so the switching frequency went down from 250 kilohertz to 166 kilohertz. And now we can look at the waveforms on the flyback converter. Let's zoom in so we can see them clearly. So here we are on the flyback waveforms. You can see this is actually a continuous mode. We'll get it into steady state. If you want to explore running the converter in different modes, you can reduce the value of the inductor. Watch the ripple current climb. And you can see right around this point here, it's always turning on at zero current. So now we've got that converter operating in discontinuous mode all the way. So it's discontinuous mode at 36 volts input. And of course, it will be discontinuous mode at the high line input as well. So this just gives you an idea of the simulation capabilities of Ridley Works. Shows you how quickly you can change from one topology to another. 
and you can explore many different design options very very quickly much faster than any other design methodology might get you so the built-in simulator really gets you there quickly and the built-in topologies you know cover pretty much everything that's used in the industry and there we are for our topologies and the simulation later on we'll have another we'll have another um, recording of how we start using the other features of Ridley Works including the control design the magnetics design and where Ridley IQ comes in with doing the more advanced features of designing converter thank you for watching if you have any questions please send emails to info at ridleyengineering.com or you can go to our website ridleyengineering.com to find out how to purchase Ridley Works